Have you ever wondered what the difference is between etching type vinyl and actual etching cream? Me too. Let's see which one we prefer. So what I have is two of the designs. One is the negative and one is the positive of the design that I've done myself. So this is the one that I'm going to be using on the smaller jar um, to just to show you. This one I'm going to be using on the larger jar. And we're going to try the etching on the larger jar. So before we get started with the etching, I'm going to just explain a little bit about what I've done here. So as you'll see, there's a lot of space on the outside of the design. Now I've done that on purpose. Typically I do try and make the design so that it goes right into the corner so we waste as little vinyl as possible. However, when it comes to etching, you want to have a gap on each side to make sure that when you are using the brush with the etching cream that you don't accidentally get some of it onto the jar because obviously it's essentially acid and it will eat away at any of the part of the glass jar that it touches. So you just want to make sure that you have that all covered and you may also notice that there are no little bits here in the E's and that, that R is stuck there and the K is there as well. But these tiny little pieces, they don't typically work well with etching because they obviously take a while to stick to the glass. So typically they move around and then you end up losing those tiny little fine details. So I mean, even some of these might not work so well, but it, I've tried to include many different types of elements. So we have an egg here with little round circles. Um, some of them are bigger than the others. And then we've obviously got large solid shapes like these two. Just just to show you kind of we can go up close and look at the detail of the etching once we've actually gotten to it. So you can obviously get that kind of detail with the vinyl, but with etching, you typically lose some of that detail just because of the fact that the, the vinyl itself moves around a little bit. But we're gonna test some of it out. I've got little starts there, long stripes on this side, and then those ones we lost because they were teeny, teeny tiny. And this one managed to, I managed to keep as well. So we're gonna test out a little bit of that today and we'll see how it goes. So we first start with the transfer paper. I'm just going to use the transfer paper on this one. Exactly the same process you would have like normal vinyl. Put it on the transfer paper, turn it over, weed the backing off. Then I have my little alcohol swabs and I'm going to give my jar a clean before I put the vinyl on. Then we take our design, fold it in half so that you can place it a little bit nicer. You start from the inside out. So you can take your scraper and scrape it on a little bit more to get it to set um, before you take the paper off. And then we can take the transfer paper off. So what I want to do now is just go over the design to make sure there are no corners that are lifting up. Like the bubbles under the vinyl, I'm okay with, I don't mind because we're going to be pulling the vinyl off anyway. Um, so we don't need to worry about those. But things like this here, we can see the vinyl, there's a tiny little bubble underneath there. So we just need to make sure that it's sitting down properly. Because anywhere that the glass is exposed, that's where we're gonna put the etching cream on. Like this, for example. This would cause a problem once the etching cream goes on because the etching cream will go underneath there and it will then, the acid of the etching cream will essentially eat away at that little part. So we want to make sure that's sitting flush down like that and that as well. That all the edges are perfect. So like these little thin pieces here, we might even lose some of them because I see like this one is wanting to come up. It doesn't want to stay down, but everything else looks pretty good. Now that that's all done, I'm going to go get my gloves because obviously etching cream is acid. So you really shouldn't be doing this without gloves. So I obviously have my etching cream and I have a brush to be able to brush it on. There are two different methods that you can use here. Number one is to continually brush the etching cream on. And then the second one is to simply brush it on 
and then pretty much leave it there for a few minutes. I actually want to try the, both of the different methods on certain parts. As an example, with a design that's this kind of complicated, you would need to then continually brush all over, all over, all over for about five minutes. But I really want to have two that show the difference. Maybe wears I will brush on and then the I will just leave and then snacks we can brush on as well and maybe do some of those as we go along. So let's just shake this up a little bit just to make sure that it'll work properly. That came out a bit faster than expected. I'm going to be using this just to prop up the, the vase so that it doesn't move around too much. Okay, so now we just take a generous amount of the etching cream, kind of brush it on. Make sure that you get it into all of the little nooks and crannies because if you leave a bubble somewhere or a gap somewhere, then that part won't etch, essentially. I did get this from PNA. It was 100 bucks. So it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. I know that JG Electronics sells Armour Etch. It's a little bit pricier, but from what I've understood, it's actually quite a bit better. So that might be a, a more superior product to go for, as opposed to Magic Glass. So we can see here already that these little pieces of vinyl have come up. Um, I'm not even pressing very hard. Um, so we'll see what the rest of it looks like. Maybe I'll even just leave that alone and not irritate it. Um, like this one is an example I can irritate quite a bit because there's nothing, there's no moving parts to it essentially. If you guys are finding this video helpful, um, if you're enjoying the content, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know if you've ever tried etching vinyl before and what you've used it on. I'd really love to, to know, give people other people ideas that browse through the comments. I mean, people always know, people love going through comments and things like that, so that would be great. And if you aren't yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel at the bottom as I produce a lot of this kind of content, testing things, tutorials, going through, showing you how to make products and that kind of thing. So then you'll know when I release new content in the future. So that's essentially what you do. You just, you know, keep brushing over the entire design for a few minutes. I'm pretty sure this has been longer than three minutes, what they normally suggest. Um, but obviously when you're putting everything on, it takes a while to get up to the top. So you kind of want to make sure that, that section has had at least three minutes. So this has definitely been on for long enough. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take it to the bathroom, rinse it off, and then we will see what it looks like. A few moments later. Okay, so we are back, and I'm just going to give it a bit of a dry off. It's one of those things you see it wet and you're like severely disappointed because, oh, it didn't work. And then you see it start to dry and you're like, oh, it was just wet, yay! So, before I remove the stencil, I'm actually doing some damage control. So we can see on this one, right, where I didn't move the cream around too much, and this one as well on the other. You can see how there are parts of the glass that haven't gotten very much etching. So instead of removing the vinyl and then having it not looking nice, I'm actually going to take the etching cream and running it over again and then leaving it on for another two minutes just to make sure that it still looks nice once we take off the vinyl. I'll do a little bit of a close-up so that you can see. Clogs Kelly had an equipment malfunction and unfortunately I wasn't able to show you me taking this off. Luckily we've still got this one to do so that's fine but I mean we can easily see here just how beautiful this actually looks. As an example this is kind of what it looked like when I was busy taking it off so you can see the difference between the etched vinyl and the actual etching. Um, I'll just do a bit of a close-up so that you can see it a little bit better. So that at least gives us a nice idea on you know exactly what it looks like comparing the two. Um, the etched vinyl obviously looks a little bit more silvery and the etching itself is 
more obviously opaque because that's exactly what it's supposed to be but obviously the etching is actually more permanent you know whereas when you're using the vinyl it'll come off after a while you know if it's on this kind of an application it probably won't but if you're wanting something like on a glass then etching is definitely the way to go as like I said it's more permanent but let's put the vinyl onto the other jar and see what it looks like so we obviously just need to make sure that we clean the jar first with one of our alcohol swabs put our transfer tape on that's what happens when you've used your transfer tape a few times so you can do this in one of two ways you can either place it down in the middle like we did with the jar or you can place it on the one side um, especially if you're wanting to get the right spacing and this is another method just make sure that you ease it on so that you get the bubbles out okay you can take your scraper scrape it on a bit you see this jar is a little bit smaller than the other one so the design is going to look a little bit different on it and then we peel the transfer tape off We lost the jelly bean. And then just burnish it on a little bit more. If you have areas like that that's come up a little bit, you can just slowly, gently weed the vinyl off and replace it. And that is the adhesive vinyl. We can see the difference between the two. Obviously you can more clearly see what is being said on with the vinyl but like I said this one's more permanent so when it comes to glasses and things like that then you definitely want to go with etching. But the process is obviously completely different you know I mean you've got the same design but two different, completely different methods. So you just need to decide where, which application would work better for you as they obviously both have their advantages when it comes to things that you're not really using this is a great method but when it comes to things that you need to wash then this method is definitely better well thanks so much for joining i really hope that you found this useful i will see you in the next video